Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on this video, Sophie Society. For today's video, I'm doing a makeup tutorial, something different, but I thought it would be a nice transition into fall, so I did some nice fall warm tones on the eyes and a nice neutral lip. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you want to see more makeup looks from me, which is pretty interesting. And yeah, be on the lookout for my next video. And let's get right into it. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Ain't nothing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So first, I'm gonna be putting on a little bit of sunscreen because even though it's August, child, it's still very much so hot here in Georgia and the sun is bright. So I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Now this is a good sunscreen. Y'all, I'm just, not just now, I knew sunscreen was important, but like a lot of other black people, we don't know like, okay, we're black, but we too need to be wearing sunscreen. So therefore, I was trying to find sunscreens and I could not find one that didn't leave a stupid white cast on my face. It wasn't greasy, so I did some research, watched a couple YouTube videos and saw that this sunscreen is great for everybody but it's really good for black people child and look there's no cast i just love this sunscreen and it's very thin so this is the sunscreen i'm using oh also while i'm actually doing my makeup i'm gonna put on a little bit of this waleta waleta skin food lip butter um so my lips can be getting moisturized this actually i hauled this in my amazon haul quarantine amazon haul which would be right here you guys should check that out okay now i'm going to be trying a new product out guys this is the pixie brightening vitamin c face primer so pixie has really good affordable um skincare products and a few makeup products and i saw this and i love some good vitamin c chad but I thought this was a serum until I read it and it said oil, priming oil. So I guess it's a primer. Now, I don't know who in their right mind would be using this in the summertime because it's oil. But I just want to try it out. Maybe it'll give us a glowy look. And I don't even know, like, do I just drop it here? How does this work? Am I doing something too much? Ah. I feel like it's going to give us a nice glowy effect. Y'all, my little edge will not stay laid. It just will not cook. Girl, I'm back up. Whatever. Okay, I have the primer on. We already looking a little glowy. Call me glowy Chloe. That's how I show me. All right, too much. So, I don't know about you guys. A lot of people start with their face first. I do eyebrows first because it frames my face. I know where to go, how to move and shape. So, I'm going to do the brows first. Okay, I'm going to be using the NYX Brow Pencil, and this is a very small, it's a micro brow pencil in Espresso, and I really want to do like a thinner brow. I actually really like Megan Thee Stallion and Nikita Dragon's eyebrows. Like they're thin, but they're still like structure, they look really good. So those are the brows that I've been inspired by lately. Also, going to use this um, Elf Brow Pomade in Espresso as well. This is how it looks. With this pomade, a little goes a long way. A little. Now I'm going to take this uh, Sonia Kashuk little eyebrow spoolie and um, kind of brush through them a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer. The concealer that I'm going to be using is 
of course none other than the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This thing is just so amazing and it's so affordable. I mean, it's the GOAT for real. I do want to get the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. But I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee. And take this small angled brush here. And do my thing like a chicken wing. Okay. You feel me? Now, um, I typically don't do eyeliner, don't do concealer above my brows. Actually, a little trick, I don't, at the top of my brows, I don't put anything. So, I get a Q-tip and I spray some alcohol on the Q-tip. I then go above my brows and clean up the brow at the top. I'm going to blend the concealer out that's under my eyes with this e.l.f. contour brush and it's pretty dense so and I kind of drag that concealer down onto my eyelid just as like an eyeshadow uh, primer almost so okay eyebrows are done now I'm going to move do I do my foundation or do I do my eyeshadow Okay guys, so now we're going to go ahead and move into eyeshadow and like I said, this is a fall time look because August is here and it's almost gone, we're coming into September, so we're going to do a nice fall sort of look. Okay, now we're going to move right into eyeshadow and I'm actually going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. That was a lot. And I'm going to be using the Morphe. This is an oldie but a goodie. The Morphe 350 Matte Palette. So, yeah, because we're going for a nice fall, autumn time look. And these are great palettes for that. I'm also going to be using the Anastasia, Anastasia Fluffy Eyeshadow Brush. So, first, I'm going to go in with this color right here called Extra Butter. As you can see, it's a very nice fall kind of burnt orange brown color. And I'm going to go in with this all over my crease. What is this up here? Crease. I don't know. But I'm going to put it up here. I love a good burnt orange eye. It looks so good on brown skin. Brown skin girl, skin just like pearls. Now I'm gonna go into my Morphe Calito. It's like this right here. Everybody has seen this palette. And I am going to. gonna take this random little fluffy brush here and I'm going to go into this orange color which is a nice vibrant orange which I like like right here in the crease right where actually like the crease and this outer V part Now I'm going to go back into the Naked palette. I'm going to go in with the color, the shade Nude, which is this color right here. But I'm probably going to mix this and this together. Um, so Nude and Pre-Game. And this is going on my lid, right on my lid. But I'm not really going out going right there I know what y'all are saying Sophie what the heck is going on we're still working on it 
am going to take this just to kind of, to kind of blend the edges. Which I'm really just going to be going back and forth with the orange and then the lid color just blending everything. And I actually want to add in a little bit of brown just right, like right here, just a tad. So I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques Defining Crease Brush. And it just looks like this. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing, defining the crease. I'm going to go right here, just right here, not too much. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just take literally some water. This is just Evian. Um, spray and I'm going to spray some on this little cotton round just to get any fallout or anything like that. Now we're going to get into the face job. We're going to go in with the same LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee and put some under here. This is a Real Techniques little triangle spongy here. Once again, I'm gonna spray it with my Evian just to get a kind of, I mean, it's already down. It's just, it's moistens it. And the goal is to keep it right under the eyes. I'm not trying to drag it down or take it around town. Put it right under the eyeballs. And I'm going up to give that nice snatched effect. Um, I don't bring it down here, but I do go under the nose. And then the, some extra I will put right here. <laughs> I look crazy. Oh, I y'all like my braids? Still just blending. Making sure we are blended, child. Okay. Now that that is blended. To set under my eyes, I like to mix two different powders. One is the Black Radiance True Complexion um, Loose Setting Powder. And this is in the color Honeymoon. And I also like to mix Air Spun. This is how it looks. Um... And Aaliyah J put me onto this, and this is in the color, I think translucent or something. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. I like it because it's kind of angled. It just fits under my eye perfectly. And just take some of this. And I am pressing it in and wiping. Now, the next step that I do is powder my face. Um, I don't really wear foundation ever. I, it's, it's very, very rare, unless I'm going somewhere like super important or whatever, but I really don't wear foundation. Um, I don't really have that much to cover up. For the sake of the video, I'll use a little bit of my Clinique. Um, Beyond, it's a foundation and a concealer, and this is in the color Amber. And I like the applicator that it comes with, but I'm just gonna take a little bit down here for the sake of the video or what else. Why not? Okay, now I'm gonna take my face powder. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth. Uh, fat powder in <laughs> and then this is just a real techniques blush brush but I use it for face powder because I, I think it works good Now, for the contouring process, I'm going to be using two different brands. I'm going to be using Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in deep, well, in dark to deep. And I'm also going to be using Sleek Makeup 
Um, this is a cream contour. Normally I would do the powder, but I'm gonna actually try something different and do both. So first, ever so slightly, I'm gonna go in another e.l.f. brush. Uh, this is the e.l.f. I don't know, they're definitely a contouring brush. This bottom shade and this top shade here and mix the two. Very light thing. Very light, very, very. And I like to put mine a little bit, see that? It don't take much. I like to put mine a little above where my natural contour is. It's really the natural hollows of your cheek, but I like to go a little bit above it gives me a more snatched effect so you see I have the cream and like I said it was not a lot at all now I'm going to switch brushes to an angled fluffy brush here and now I'm going to go in with the black radiance and this is the colors and usually I mix these two but mainly gearing, gearing towards the middle one because the other shade is a little too dark on its own, so I just like to fix this. Then I go in like this. Now I'm going to go in and highlight a little bit. So this is the Bobby Brown highlighter in Afternoon Glow and I really like it. It's kind of a rosy gold kind of feel to it. Very nice, very nice, very, 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 very nice. And I'm just going to use my Sonia Kashuk small highlighting brush and just kind of tap, tap, tap in. You better tap in. Tap, 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 Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyeliner, which is my liquid uh, winged eyeliner off camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have put in my winged eye, and I put on some eyelashes. The eyelashes that I um, use are the Kiss So Wispy Lashes. Look like this. I like a natural looking eyelash. It's my thing. I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Okay, and I forgot that I'm going to also go in with this clear brow gel by Anastasia Anastasia. I still don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a clear brow gel. And this, I don't know really the purpose of this. It's just supposed to help keep the brows in place. My question is, where are they going? But whatever, I'm going to use it, yeah. I'm just going to kind of pull the front ones out. I don't really have much eyebrow hair, but I'm going to try to make them look a little sparsy in the front. Can't really tell. And then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is a really good mascara. It's a little focus. I'm going to go in on my bottom lash. Okay, now it's time for the lips. Going with the Milani um, lip liner in hot cocoa. See if it works. I'm gonna 
use three different glosses. Look at these. Those look really nice. So I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in Praline. I'm also going to use the e.l.f. Lip Gloss in Love Bite, which is a very nice bronzy copper color. Please focus on this. Because I need the people to see this. That's nice. And then lastly, I'm going to be using the Ulta Beauty uh, Lip Gloss in there. Okay guys, and that is the completed look for this little makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button, please. And you can comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Any other looks you might want me to do? If you want to see some more makeup videos on my channel? Um, so yeah, once again, thanks for clicking on this video, Sophie Society. And I will see you guys in my next one.